what is a brand and what it isn't. Today we'll be talking about the book Brand Gap by Marty Neumeyer. This book is about successful brand building that is essential part of the consumer life. But before we get started and talking about Brand Gap, I just want to say if you want more videos, more book reviews and more conversations about design topics, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a video like this one. So the main ideas are all around differentiation, collaboration, innovation, validation and cultivation. Let's get started. We dive into this book by talking about brand. A brand is about a person's gut feeling about the brand. It is what they say it is, not what you say it is. We also touch on trust and how much it impacts the buyer decision. It is important when a consumer experience it is consistent or it has improved, therefore creating trust and it is the bread and butter of branding. The brand gap is all about strategy and creativity working hand in hand. When there is a difference between strategy and creativity, there is a brand gap created. Differentiation. This chapter opens up with three questions. Who are you? What do you do? And why does it matter? Many find it difficult to answer all three. When you cannot answer all three with a compelling answer, this means that you don't have a brand. The question, why does your brand matter, is all about differentiation. Differentiation is marketing. Differentiation in marketing has shifted from what the product does, e.g. its features, to who you are when you're using this product, which is impacted by brand personality and brand perception. If you cannot be the number one or two, it is important to go into a different sector and redefine this space. Collaboration. There is a unpopular theme of brands offering a lot, therefore being a generalistic brand. However, a brand that specializes in something is actually more likely to be successful. This is because being generalistic is like a jack of all traits, a master of none. That's why consumers turn to specialist brands, aka the master in the field, and this field is determined by the community. But the most important aspect of this chapter is placing left brainers and right brainers together in a team, connecting the gap between creativity and strategy. Hello fellow designers, I'm here just to pop in and tell you about Vato Elements. It is not a sponsor of this video, it is just an affiliate link, but I really believe in their products and I just wanted to shout them out. So I use Envato for any fonts, any stock imagery and videos, any mock-ups and more. So let's get back to the video. Innovation. The idea of innovation is when everyone zigs, you zag. And you know your idea is innovative when it scares the hell out of you. Validate. It is important to also not forget about research. Use focus groups to focus the research and not to be the research. Use qualitative research for breakthroughs. It is important to remember that consumers don't know what's possible. It is the popular, if we had asked the public what they wanted, they would have said a faster horse. Cultivate. A brand is not about consistency, but evolution. You gotta shift and realign your brand, but not the main core message, as then you look like a hypocrite. It is also important to know every person in the business is a reflection of the business. Every experience with the brand is a reflection of the brand. This can damage credibility. But also know like people can change their clothes to occasions. Brands can too. Appear in different spaces differently, but again, never lose the core message. Finally, my favorite quote of this chapter is, no decision should be made without asking, will it help or hurt my brand? This is a short and sweet review. And if you have enjoyed this book review, you may also enjoy my book review on the book Obsessed. Building a brand people love from day one.